shit I think of you when I'm intoxicated This is normal lighting. This is what we're gonna do with other lighting. I could do this one or this one. So I don't know which one I've decided yet. This is a new mirror, so I have no idea. But to kick off this makeup vlog, which I'm a little nervous about. Um, welcome back to the vlog, guys. It's Emster. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's Emster97. Um, I'll put that in the description below. But this is a makeup video. So this is not related to anything to fitness. Um, even though I will be going a little more in depth with myself and my personal information and that kind of stuff and just like more about me as we go um and what products i use and just kind of like just chat with you guys um it's my first time ever doing this so just be patient with me um i'm not using any mics this is just simply just me and my cat behind the camera just messing around with my stuff um but yeah so first things first this is what i'm using on my face right now i do this every morning it is the Deep puffing um, eye patches by Pixie. They are by far the best. Love them. I do two of these for 30 minutes and then um, I'll show you what else I do for my skin in the morning. Nothing super crazy, but just enough to kind of like prep you guys on what I do and then my lip stuff and that kind of shit. So get the ball rolling here with that. So. Do this on for a few minutes, but just kind of like to preface, um, I brush my hair. Um, I don't know anything about makeup. This is just what I've been doing for the past few years that has helped me. And I've had a lot of people ask about like my eyeliner and how I do that stuff and all sorts of things. Um, in regards to my hair, like I've been doing a lot of like hair masks recently. Um, my hair used to like not be able to grow past my shoulders. And I finally was able to get it to go past my shoulders. Now it's pretty healthy, given it's been a few days since I've washed it, so it's not the health, not the healthiest looking. Um, but it's all frizzy right now. But that's kind of like where we're working with, and it has like layers to it, and you know. But it's kind of like my hair right now. It's probably healthiest it's ever been. I take my Biotin every morning to my collagen every morning, and I've been really diligent with like hair oils. And that kind of stuff, which I can link below. All else do I use? Um, I don't use everything every day, but I do use a decent amount every once in a while just to kind of like help my hair. So my hair is definitely damaged from being blonde for the past. Oh, I've been blonde since. So I'm naturally like a dirty blonde, um, brunette, more towards. So I'm not a natural blonde fully. Just so y'all know, I'm not like a natural platinum blonde, but I am a dirty blonde. I usually have like blonde highlights in my hair. Um, I haven't blonde since, I want to say college, since like 20, I want to say 15, 2015. Um, I went back and forth for a little bit, I, I had red hair for a little bit, that was terrible. Um, I need some Aquaphor right now, my lips, but no, like, some dirty, a little jar of, Aqua four. Um but I've been um well it's like 2015, 2016. I went back and forth from red to auburn to whatever faded into what else for a little bit and then um I got better with it with like my hair and upkeeping it probably in late twenty twenty. Just because I hated how my hair was like super raggedy and super just like like lifeless. So as I go with this, I had a lot of people ask me like what color my eyes were last time. And just to preface, my eyes are green, like or green hazel. That's kind of like what my eyes look like. So just kind of like show y'all, that's the color of my eye. It's typically like, and they're super green today. But yeah, like my, my eye color isn't edited in my stuff. It used to be, I used to edit it so that way look a little brighter. But my eyes are pretty green. Um, I had some people like, oh, like you're fake. <clears throat> like your fake well, let me get my water. Okay. And this is raspy voice over here with my fucking Don't judge me, this is the morning. My voice is always lower in the morning. Okay. So 
Also, just so y'all know, this is my last vlog, but this is the Hydro Jug. I've had a code for them for a while. They're amazing. You can do anything you want with this thing to throw it around. It will not leak. I'll put the code for that below. But yeah, let's get started. So, just to preface, I used to be really insecure about my under eyes. But I'll tell you what I use for my stuff to help it. Um, and the story behind that. There we go. So, this is Makeup Free Emily. Okay, here we go. My skin's cleared up so, so much. I used to have like super heavy eye bags. I use that and then I also use this. So the store behind this was, um, get this at, at Target, is I, actually, let me do this first. So I typically will use, I use these first to kind of cleanse my face. First to kind of like, get all the acid and everything off my face, but I'm gonna go around what I just did with my under eye. I'm just put my skin. Um, so sort of behind my under eye serum is I went on a date and this guy told me about the under eye stuff. He's like, hey, I use it for my stuff, like blah, blah. And I was like, you know, I've never, I've never tried that before. So I'm gonna, I tried it and it's been amazing, but I don't talk to the guy anymore because he, he's not a bad guy, we just didn't vibe. And that's okay, just didn't vibe. Um, but yeah, so once that skin's prepped, I'll let this cool down, and then I'll go, as it's cooling down, I'll take the Goodfellow, which typically I don't get a whole lot of makeup advice from guys. I think, honestly, guys don't know a lot more than girls, because they just have, like, they know what's up, you know? Girls have, like, a million things we can choose from, guys have, like, that one thing that works for them, and, like, I want to trust girls with their makeup, but, like... I've heard so many things like, oh, try this, and it doesn't work for me. So with the guy telling me this and it works, it's like, wow, like, I really, I all know what's up. Like, thank you. Um, also, there's like a devis or a dip in my fucking head is because I, I got kicked in the face last night from a kickback. Like, I was showing someone how to use a kickback machine, and they, like, kicked me in the face. So, super fun. After we did that, I'm going to take this. I'm gonna put this as more like a sunscreen for your face. Put that, put that here. Just kind of like rubs it in a little bit. I've always been super uncomfortable with my skin. And like me without makeup on, like every time I'd have a guy over or something, which isn't a lot, but because I have no life. Um, as I, I'll usually wear makeup. The entire time. Y'all even wear it to bed just so, like that I wake up with something on my face. Which I'm trying to get better with. I don't where the fuck did it go? Hello. Which typically like I I'm getting better with. Like I I'm trying to embrace myself more. I'm trying to like accept me for me now and just be real with you guys. And it's a little nerve wracking for me, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little I was a little nervous filming this because I didn't want anyone to be like, Wow, she's like a catfish, well, she's like all these things. But this is me. This is 1000% natural Emily. And this is makeup and what it can do for you. We'll prep my skin with this, with the e.l.f. primer. I'll do two things of this. I'll lather that stuff in there. Because I work tonight and I want to be able to have this stay on. And then I'll go in with my concealer. That's what I'll do. This one, I'll just take a little bit go up there and down. I don't like people creeping on me. I don't think it's intentional car parked outside my house. It's outside my window. Perfectly outside my window. So I'll take the um, e.l.f. setting spray. This helps a lot with like just locking in the concealer. So I do that, spray it in. I let that sit for a minute. I don't fuck with it until later, but then I'll take the e.l.f. brow pencil and I'll do that first. So I'll fill this in. finger and kind of slide that. The 
Also, as I am filming this, I put a questionnaire on my story so that I can answer your guys' questions as I go. Kind of like that. See the difference? That's insane. Okay, so I just did some questions on my questionnaire and someone asked for my boob size. I'm not going to tell you that because not only am I going to get a breast, a breast augmentation, but I'm also, I, that's not for you to know. It doesn't fucking matter. This is a makeup video. Grow up. Um, how old am I? I am 26 years old. I turned 27 in June. Um, favorite cheat meal would probably be Cane's. I love Cane's so much, but I can't have it all the time and I need to calm the fuck down. I don't have a boyfriend. Um, I don't have a boyfriend. Come to India. I'm not gonna go to India. Um, I want to someday, but just not right now. I have a lot going on. How much is your height and weight? I am 5'6", or I just learned I'm 5'5 now. Um, and I'm 145 in weight. Um, answer these two next. Are you a Christian? And how have you ever loved anyone? Okay, so first ones first. Um, I am a Christian. Um, I grew up Southern Baptist, so my family was conservative growing up. And I learned later in life I'm not a denominational, so I don't, um, it's a different kind of belief for me. It's not as strict as conservative Baptist. It's a little different, but same kind of people anyway. Still nice, still approachable people. Um, there we go. Looks a little better. Not so like crazy. So yeah, um, I grew up Christian. Now I'm more non-animational. I do believe in God. I do believe in Jesus. I just, I don't really, I'm not vocal on it. Um, I believe in judging someone from their actions, not from their religious status. So if I'm gonna, well, I was there the entire time. Um, if I'm gonna live my life, I wanna be judged by my actions, not by like what I preach about. Like, oh, like I'm a Christian and then like my actions be crappy. Um, and have I ever loved anyone? Yes, I was married. Still legally married, but going through the process of divorce. Still have a lot of love for that man. Um, he knows who he is, and I'm sure he watches my stuff, and we are cordial, and there's no hate between us. So, it just didn't work out, and it just didn't work out. Also, this is my cream, or my, um, blush. It's Fenty Beauty uh, Cream, it is the, uh, Petal Poppin' O2, that's what I have. Okay. So I go in with my blush, and then I will carve out my eyes. I have a little fluffy brush here that I'll use and then I'll use the contour palette by Smashbox which is beat the crap and I'll just go in, as you can tell it's gross, I'll just go into this one then I'll just fluff this one out. But no, there's no, I have loved people, some people before, I've been in long-term relationships I've been short-term relationships that weren't fun. I'm happy. I like living alone. I like being me, and that's kind of what makes me focus, but there is someone I'm interested in, but let's leave it at that. So, nothing super fucking crazy. Just me doing me, and I'm not going to commit to anything until I feel completely secure in myself. I know the person I'm talking to. Until I, I'm not going to date someone I don't know, so if I don't know you, I'm not going to like commit to it. Um, and I'm much sure I feel secure in who I'm with and feel safe and like get to know them as a person before I ever do anything. And I don't do hookups. Um, I did go through like a three month fling, which was awful and I will never do again. I just am not the kind of person that do one night stands or that kind of stuff. I'm very committed. I'm more of a relationship girly. I definitely am more of a committed relationship girly. I don't do the whole hookup culture. It's not been my thing. Um, Next, I'll go in with, it's all faded crap now, but I know this is Tarte um, Under Eye. I know Alex Earl did it. I'll probably try to link it my best. So I'll take it and I'll just go on my waterline. Kind of just brighten this up a little bit. It's called Fake Awake. Kind of makes it look a little more I don't think that was of a difference, but a little bit. I just use this when I'm gonna work at 12. I wanna look more awake. 
I don't really, I don't know. I just want to stay more committed to myself than anything right now and heal and just, I can't give someone something if I haven't healed yet and I want to heal more and I'm happy where my life is at. I want to be committed and if I did date someone right now, I would be committed. Um, but I just, I don't think there's any harm in like taking it slow. I like taking it slow. I like taking my time. There's no rush. There is absolutely no rush to be in any sort of relationship whatsoever. So I am more than okay than just taking my sweet ass time. Okay, so I forgot to mention, I will go in with my, um, my brow gel as well. And I'll just kind of, this is already prior wet from before, and I'll just kind of fluff this out a little bit. My gel. I watered as soon as I did it to my eye, of course. Of course it did. Okay, so to the eyeliner. This eyeliner is my my fucking secret. I love this thing. Please don't sell it out. Um, I can find it. So I use as it has stuff all over it. So this is the Elf H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen. This is my go-to. You can sleep in this thing. You can do whatever you want. It will not come off. This thing has been with me through some shit. And it has not come off if I can fucking open it. Okay. Okay. There you go. It's so hard to freaking open. Okay. So, with my eyeliner, this is like my go-to proof method with everything. I'll keep this closer to me. So, I take my other hand if I'm like... This is my left side. I take my right hand and I put like this. I put like this. But I'll literally just like imagine. Good grief. I'll imagine like if I'm looking straight, my eye just like following that crease. And that's all I do. So imagine it going straight. So just imagine straight. And I'll connect it later. So watch. So. Yeah, I'll go like that first, and then I'll just connect it there, a little up. So it's more like that. That's the wing for you. Nothing super crazy, but I just imagine a straight line and I just um, For the inner corner, I just do like the simple Little thing here and make sure I look more like a siren eye I like this eye more than anything else. Typically if I do anything more than this All I do is I'll imagine like just tracing my eye It's going all the way across. Let's hold this piece. Not like pull back crazy, but just like hold it and then I'll just but this is literally perfect and I'm not gonna fuck with it. I'm gonna try and copy it on the other side. No promises. Straighter. Wow, that's messed up. I don't know where the cap went. But if anything, I'll just take a makeup wipe, fix it real quick. And then go back to the drawing board with this thing. But it's always my right eye that says it gives me problems. So there's always one. Keep doing this until I get the exact one at the other side. I'm getting closer with every wipe. I promise. Why is my eyes so watery? Oh my god. Okay. We're just gonna come back to it. That was terrible. We're gonna come back to it. That was absolute trash. For those of you that think that my makeup is out of regs with the military. Ugh. The military, it's not. It's just a very basic look. Um, I posted a picture of me on uniform on Twitter. And this guy commented, oh, like, did you come in? I know that you have, like, I forgot what he actually said, but something just mocking my makeup. And I was like, it's in regs, dude. Shut the fuck up. Um, okay. Do you have a map? I got lost in your eyes. That's one of my... 
Um, which emotion would you like to experience more often? I would like to experience peace more often. I feel like my life is so crazy that I I like to have peace. I think I want to have peace. So I'll curl my eyelashes at this point. Um, I'd like to have more peace in my life. I don't want to have any, anything more. I'm done with the crazy. I'm done with the life being absolutely fucking insane. I'm good. All right. So my eyes losing its mind. All right. So this is a little net, like nasty, but, um, I use the benefit. They're, they're really magnet mascara. I use that first to prep my eyelashes. Well, a trick I've learned with makeup is to blink through your mascara. Kind of gets all of the lashes in there. Just like that. I love mascara, it's my favorite thing. Mascara and eyeliner. This thing's running out. I wish I could see the mirror. The mirror looks so much better than I do right now. Um, where should I get in the waterline too? I'm gonna have to hide this side and look at the lashes from the side and make sure I get everything. And then I'll go in with that and then I'll go in with the Better Than Sex mascara. This is the Too Faced. I just like go like this with the wand. Which all comes out of there. This thing is super heavy, so I gotta go really light with it. I kinda just turn it a little bit. Oh. Kinda turn it a little bit as I go. Look at that. That is crazy. It's worth the hype. Huge lashes. I love lashes. I used to have lash extensions, but I lost all my eyelashes and I can't do that anymore. So sometimes I'll have like mascara behind it. Alright, so that's what we're working with right here. Love that. Okay, we're still not done yet though. So contour. I love contour. I that's like what makes a face for me. So have the blush on, we're gonna do another blush later, but we have this palette here, which I don't even know what's from. I'll put this in the back here, I got it for Christmas. So put that in there, but I use obviously the brown in here. So I'll take my old reliable contour brush and I'll just go higher here. I used to go like down here, nope, go up to your cheekbone. Go all the way up there. I'll go to my forehead. I just realized I didn't put on foundation, which I typically do, but that's okay. And if you're ever wondering, like I blend out with my foundation a little bit, that's the foundation I wear. Um, it's just the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Um, I put that on after my concealer usually, but today, for some reason, I didn't do that, but that's okay. Completely forgot, but typically I'll do that. My skin's been pretty good recently, and all I'm gonna be doing today is sitting inside watching a radar, so. Okay, that's the, it looks so much different on camera than it does in person. You can always tell if how it really looks by your iPhone camera. Not that bad. Okay, we'll blush it out anyway. So, okay, so, I'll go in with my blush. I have the Tarte blush with eyeliner all over it. It's called The Blushing Bride. And then I'll go with my little blush. And then I'll go up. It's nothing crazy. Just go up. I'm not done with the concealer. I'm going to put that next. I might add a little bit of foundation, honestly. Foundation up a little bit here, a little bit here. On the nose. 
not the order I should have gone in, but we're here. So I'll blend that out a little bit. I don't need to set my foundation. I probably should. I don't contour my nose either. I tried to and it looked fucking weird. So I just don't, I don't touch it. I just put a little highlighter on it and I just leave it alone. Speaking of highlighter, this is my highlighter. It's the Becca All Reliable Champagne Pop. It's a little mini one you can get Target. Um, I'll just take a little bit, like that amount. And I'll just sometimes go in here. Dot my nose. This looks like that. Nothing crazy. I have, in my opinion, I have a long nose, so I just kind of like try not to make it look crazier than how it is. All right, and then I want to go back with my concealer one more time because sometimes my makeup will not mesh well with the rest. So I'll just do a little dab here. Not that it wouldn't mesh well with the rest, but just like I like to do different layers of stuff as I go. Other questions: What is your your typical cardio week? Um, I don't do any really cardio. I, if I do cardio, then I just do like a incline walk for 30 minutes, and I do it at the speed for as fast as you can go. I just kind of like grind out for 30 minutes. Um, what makes me cry? I'm getting cheated on. That's what makes me cry. Or lying. I don't like liars. Um, when and what was the last time someone did something romantic to you? I mean, I've gotten gifts and stuff, but I haven't gotten flowers in a while. I think that probably be like the last time someone got me flowers and like wrote me a letter. But how many calories do you consume a day? Or are you trying to put on more weight? I am not trying to put on more weight. I'm actually trying to cut right now. So I'm just trying to eat as much as I can. Um, within like my calories. So I don't do anything crazy. Um, I used to have a strict diet with like my calories and like stay within the lines. But honestly, like I work so much and I, I go out and do things so much that like I, for me to upkeep with that, all I'd be doing is like glue to my phone and I don't want to do that. So um, I just eat whatever I want, but not, I don't hang out. It makes sense. Like if I go out to eat, I try to get like the more protein intake that I can. And I do like protein chips. I do like cheaper, healthier options instead of just like McDonald's every day. But if I need to, the McDonald's is the way and I have nothing else. That's it. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, I want to have the funds to help my family. Not that they need help, but just in general. Um, what are we doing here? At least with the eyeliner, I think. No. Um, yeah, I just want to help my family. I want to be there for people. I want to be able to provide people in my life so I, I guess like endless money like an amount of funds to do whatever I needed to do um I don't want anything crazy just enough to make me happy to fund my life nothing wild so yeah just to the inner corner just that stuff kind of be my makeup look a little more complete so that's kind of the majority of my makeup that I'm gonna put it all in and secure it all right now. So I use the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills um, powder and I'll take my really tiny sponge and I'll just take a little bit on this and dab it in for my concealer because my concealer is the first thing to go. So I'll do that first. And any like the T-bone areas that could be a little greasy. Put that in there. Okay. I've recently, like, recently I haven't really been, like, a lip girly, or, like, in the lips, but as I've gotten older, I don't know what it is. Like, I just, now I really, like, want to get my lips, like, looking the best they can. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, so then once that's set, then I'll go back into my contour palette, and then I'll just use the bottom one right here. Just a little bit, nothing crazy because it's pretty strong. I'll just lightly dab in there too. So it looks a little brighter like that. Go in there. Okay, go in there with that. And then just kind of go over the bronzer one more time. Because I, I do want like that pinkish hue, but I don't want anything crazy. It looks crazy right now. Okay, so for lips, what I do is I'll do the Pillow Talk to medium, some Chart Tilbury, 
And then I'll just go to the bottom side right here. I'll line that. This looks so much bigger than it is. And then I'll go align it with the top. I think it looks somewhat even. So it's like that. Sometimes I'll go in with this. This is a lot darker. This is the um, Pillow Talk Intense 3 for my short tail braid as well. It's really dark. Just kind of like show you. That's kind of like washes me out a little bit. But I'll go in with like my Aquaphor and I'll like blend it out a little bit sometimes. Um, cause it's kind of tense. So. That's pretty much it with my makeup. I don't think super crazy. I might do a little bit of highlighter. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. I'll do that in my inner corner sometimes. Kind of brighten that up a little bit. But other than that, nothing crazy. This is, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna lock this in with my spray and then um, redo my shadow a little bit and put all this stuff back. And then that is, that is it. Um, nothing super crazy. I don't wear that much, I don't think I don't wear that much makeup. Lock that in. Oh. And then that is my makeup tutorial. Nothing crazy with my hair. But that is it. Um I will probably link everything below that I can find. But if anything, I will just type it out for you, like the brand and everything, and you guys can like Google that and find it. It's either Target, like I'm not that expensive. If you can't find it in Target at Ulta, you can find it at Sephora. I know the lip Chil uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip stuff is in Target, or not Target, Sephora, and within Kohl's, so you guys can easily find that. But that is, this is the makeup look. Okay, I will let you guys go for the day. I'm gonna get ready for work, and then I will see you guys next week for the vlog. This is my cat, Queso. Are you loafing? Very cute. Hi. Hello. Put this down. <laughs> Hi.